Hi, welcome back to Vicky's Sparkly Home and Garden. Today I'm going to be making these adorable little Easter decorations out of baby food jars. They look cute on a shelf with some other Easter decor or they would look really cute on a tiered tray. And if you enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a coat of primer on the baby food jars. And I'm using Gesso White Acrylic Primer, which is a pretty, pretty good for these glass jars. It leaves a nice coat and it's easy to paint over. Next, I'm going to take some foam clay and make the little embellishments that are going to go on the jar after it's been painted. So I'm making a bunny. So I'm going to make two bunny ears, a bunny tail, and a little bunny nose. And the other is a little chick. So I'm going to make a nose and a tail, and then two tiny little chicks that I'm just going to set on top of the big chick. And I'm just doing these freeform sort of shapes and sizing it up to the jar to make sure it's the size I want. One other thing I'm trying to do as I'm making these pieces, even though the bunny tail is going to be round, I'm trying to flatten one end so that I can glue it more easily onto the jar. And the same with the ears and all the pieces, other pieces. Once the shapes are the way I want them, I'm going to set those aside and let them dry. I'm also going to let the coat of primer dry before I do anything else. Once everything had dried, I'm going to put a coat of white paint on one jar for the bunny and a coat of yellow paint on the other jar for the chick. And then I'm going to paint all the little pieces of foam to look like a nose and a beak and a tail. So I'm gonna paint the bunny nose and the inside of the ears pink. The tail and the two little chicks are gonna be yellow. I'm gonna trying to make the beak a little more orangey. And the bunny tail, of course, is going to stay white. I'm also gonna add some blue so tiny little blue eyes on the little tiny chicks and then slightly bigger blue eyes with white centers for the eyes on the bunny and the big chick. So instead of using a brush on the jars, I am using this, this um, pouncer or a foam, little foam brush. And I'm gonna put two coats on each of the jars of the yellow and white. Once all the paint had dried, I'm going to use tacky glue to glue on all the little embellishments. It seems to set up pretty quickly, so I can use it even on something that's going to be a little sideways and is not super flat. And while the glue is drying, I'm also going to put on the eyes. After the chick is done, now it's time to glue on the bunny parts.
that's how easy it was to make these adorable jars. And coming up is a link to some more videos and a button to subscribe. Happy crafting! <laughs>